Summer Rain Oaks from Sorcerer Style, and you're watching The Cutting Edge, sustainable design news in 60 seconds. Producing garments using the silk from silkworms was first developed in ancient China. Early accounts date as far back as 3500 BC, and the production of silk was a tightly held secret until about 200 BC, when Sarah culture, or silkworm rearing, reached Korea. But what about producing garments from spider silk? Well, it turns out spiders are not as docile as their caterpillar counterparts. Mm. Mm. Move away from my mulberry leaf. Mm. Little Ento fact of the day, spiders are territorial and will therefore kill the other spiders in the vicinity. But scientists still have hopes for commercializing spider silk. Because let's just say that if a Nephilus spider species, like the golden orb weaver, went head to head with a Bombyx mori silkworm at the Arthropod Olympics, the orb weaver silk would beat the silkworm silk in strength, elasticity, and energy to break. A large part of this is due to the way the amino acid chains, which consist primarily of glycine and alanine, are arranged along the dragline silk chain in orb weaver silk. But scientists haven't given up on their experiments. A few years back, some had the idea of implanting bacterial genes with spider silk properties in transgenic goat milk, <coughs> and even reeling silk from a spider's <coughs> rear end. Huh? Yeah, that's like that's like milking the the udder of a cow, <coughs> or or the or the udder of a transgenic goat. Huh. Still, there hasn't been any major moves to create garments out of spider silk, unless you're counting this shawl from Madagascar, which was produced by reeling silk from over a million golden orb weavers. Watch out, Spider-Man. Oh. You could be next. Uh, uh, uh.